Welcome to my new topic. Today we learn about the finite differences and the interpolation. So it's the beginning of interpolation. First we find the Newton forward and backward difference operator. So finite difference, what is the finite difference? If we can say y is the one variable function that is function of x, y is equal to fx and y is equally giving the values at the point of x which are equally distributed called if my first point is x0 second is the with difference h so x plus h then plus x then x plus x0 plus 2h x0 plus 3h up to x0 plus nf then the value of y is given by y0 y1 y2 y3 yn where the difference is always constant means from one point to another point difference is always constant that is h. So h is called the interval of these points. Hence we derive two difference operator. One is called Newton's forward operator and another is the backward operator. So this is the this delta sign is called Newton's forward difference operator. If we can say the, this times y0 delta times y0 then it gives y y1 minus y0 y1 value minus y0 then del y1 is y2 minus y1 similar process our general formula is Newton forward operator of yn minus 1 is given by yn minus yn minus 1 here delta is called the neutral forward operator difference operator similarly if we go what is backward operator just reverse of this delta sign we make the reverse triangle of yr that is given by yr minus yr minus 1 hence if you want to find out y1 y1 is delta the newton backward operator of y1 is y1 minus y2 see what is the difference see the difference here for forward operator our y1 with forward operator is y2 minus y1 but in backward operator y1 is y1 minus y0 means what we can calculate here with this sign is comes first y2 then y2 comes first and then the one less value here for difference of forward operator for forward operator the next value come first and then minus y2 so these are the difference operators which is called newton forward and newton backward difference operator now i will solve some function for these forward and backward difference operators so we can you can easily understand how to operate these operators Similarly, we can find out the this is first order of operator, then second order, third order, fourth order, up to how many order. Order means we have to differentiate, like just like differentiation, these are the difference operators. So, what is the second order? If I say here, this is the my del y n minus 1 is y n minus y. So, if I call about the if I call about the del of yn then yn plus 1 minus yn now what is my del square of yn so del square of yn is given by del of del yn now del yn is this so i rewrite here the value of this yn plus 1 minus yn again apply individually this Newton forward operator with each term. So first term is del y n plus 1 y n plus 1 minus del y n. Clear? What is my y n plus 1? y n plus 1 is y n plus 2 minus y n plus 1 and this give y n plus 1 minus. So we substitute here and simplify here. For example, now if I want to find out the second order operator of this, del square of y1. So del y1, del times del y1. So it's del y2 minus y1. Clear? So this is del y2 minus del y1. Again, 
डेल वाई टू इज वाई थ्री माइनस वाई टू माइनस वाई टू माइनस वाई सो वॉट इज द सिंप्लीफिकेशन वाई थ्री माइनस वाई टू माइनस वाई टू सो माइनस टू वाई टू माइनस माइनस प्लस वाई वन सो अवर सेकेंड ऑर्डर ऑपरेटर फॉर वाई वन इज गिवन बाय दिस सो दीज ऑपरेटर्स आर ऑपरेटिव बाय स्टेप बाय स्टेप इफ आई वॉन्ट टू फाइंड थर्ड ऑर्डर ऑपरेटर्स सो थर्ड ऑर्डर इज थ्री टाइम्स ऑपरेट मीन्स डेल डेल स्क्वायर वाई वन देन डेल स्क्वायर इज अगेन डेल डेल टाइम्स डेल वाई वन सो फर्स्ट आई ऑपरेट ऑन दिस वॉट इज द सॉल्यूशन ऑपरेट विथ दिस वॉट इज द सॉल्यूशन ऑपरेट विथ दिस वी गेट द फाइनल रिजल्ट सिमिलर प्रोसेस फॉर द बैकवर्ड ऑपरेटर फॉरवर्ड एंड बैकवर्ड दीज ऑपरेटर्स आर अप्लाई वन बाय वन फॉर सेकेंड ऑर्डर थर्ड ऑर्डर वी कैन फाइंड द अप टू हाउ मैनी गिवन फंक्शन हाउ मैनी डिग्री ऑफ गिवन फंक्शन इफ अवर फंक्शन इज थ्री डिग्री देन अप टू थ्री डिग्री थर्ड डिग्री इज द कॉन्स्टेंट एंड हायर देन थर्ड डिग्री ऑपरेटर्स आर गोइंग टू बी जीरो लाइक डिफ्रेंशिएशन इन डिफ्रेंशिएशन वी कैन फाइंड अप टू थर्ड ऑर्डर इज द कॉन्स्टेंट एंड ऑल फर्दर आर गोइंग टू बी जीरो सिमिलरली इन दिस डिफरेंस ऑपरेटर ऑल्सो सेम मैथड सो नाउ आई विल शो यू वन एग्जाम्पल हाउ टू सॉ See one example how to find the for Newton forwards difference operators. So our given function if y is my f x is x cube minus three x square plus five x plus seven. So I want to find the different order uh, difference operator taking the argument zero two four six eight ten means the my difference is constant my h is Two interval is two, so it's very simple. If you want to find out the difference operator, first you find out not for the each point, you find out the value of this function operator. So forward operator for this f x. What is the interval? Is two. So f x is del of f x is f x plus two. Minus f x everywhere at the place of x you put x plus two so this is x plus two whole cube minus three x plus two whole square plus five x plus two plus seven minus f x when we simplify open these and simplify it we will get the value six x square plus six again this is the del f x first order newton forward operator then we go for the second value second value is del tan del square of fx del tan del fx the substituting value here same process fx is this so fx plus 2 minus fx so 6x plus 2 whole square plus 6 minus fx simplify it we will get 24x plus 24 Same process for del cube, del of del square f x. Del square f x is twenty four x plus x at the place of x x plus two. So f x plus two. So twenty four x plus two plus twenty four minus f x. Simplify it. We will get the constant value forty eight. Above this, everything we get zero. So This is the degree of three. So only up to three degree we will get the value above that. This operator gives zero, and the last degree, highest degree is three, gives by a constant. That is the rule for the forward difference operator. So this is the formulation. Now we can make the table easily so in the tabulate form we can find the value for every point 2 0 2 4 6 8 at the every point we can find the value so now i will go for table first you have to find the value of function at del fx del square fx after that now one by one you substitute the value of if i want f0 i put x equal to 0 that is 6 Del square f zero, it is twenty four. Del cube f zero is forty eight. With the table, we can easily calculate this also. I will make a table. Let's take a look of the table. How we formulate the table? So for forward operator, so my forward operator function at points x equal to zero, two, four, six, eight. H is a fix. F x 
first forward of letter, second, third, fourth and so on. So at these points my function value is when I put in this x equal to 0 I will get 7. When I put x equal to 2 I will get the value here substitute everywhere 2 cubes 2 square 5 into 2 and 7 13 and so on. Now my first operator calculation is very easy for first operator y2 so this is the y1 so y1 so this minus this 13 minus 7 is 6 this minus this 43 minus 30 this minus this this minus this this minus this we will get this 757 same for second order 30 minus 6 here 72 102 minus 30 here 222 minus 102 and this last this minus same higher means minus this this minus this this minus this then the next will 48 minus 48 is gives 0 so the last operator is constant more than this all are 0 so this is the tabular form of Newton forward operator it's very easy if you have given any function you can easily formulate with the table so you can find the value put the interval function of finding the value of function and then step by step lower minus upper value give the next entry of the given table similarly now I can show you one another table for Newton backward formula clear so we go for the another example see the backward operator backward operator table is also same like the forward operator the entry if we can say what is this entry for example our given function is x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 7 taking the argument minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 it means that my operator h is 1 difference is 1 so i substitute here the points then finding the value of function at minus 1 0 i put every value here at minus 1 i will get minus 16 at 0 i will get minus 7 at 1 i will get minus 4 and so on hence two terms are terms next is the backward operator first order so same process this minus this minus 7 minus minus 16 so it gives minus 7 plus 16 value is 9 this minus this minus 4 minus of minus 7 gives 3 minus 1 minus of minus 4 this so same type of calculation only if we can talk about this function see this is we can say x0 x1 x2 then this is y0 y1 y2 so this is my first is backward operator with respect to y1 this is backward operator with respect to y2 this is for y3 this is for y4 and this is for y5 if this is x0, x1, x2, x3, x4 and x5. In forward operator, this term is the forward. This term is y2 because y2 is y1. y2 is given y1 is given by y2 minus y1. But here y1 is given by this y1 minus y0 like this then the calculation is same 3 minus 9 is 6 3 minus 3 is 0 9 minus 3 and 21 minus same 6 minus of minus 6 this then the because the function of degree 3 third difference operator will give constant value higher all are 0 so higher all are 0 so these are the difference in the newton backward and forward tables now if we go about the some relation between the forward and uh, backward difference operator and one another operator we can say the displacement or shifting operator which is called known as e 
and I is the unit operator. So I will show you some relation between forward and different backward difference operators. Understand what is my shifting operator. Shifting operator means I can shift my term to one further term. Means E is the shifting operator. If E of y r, then value of E of y r is the further term. Means E of y r is y r plus one. So same process. If we want to find out the first order, second order, third order derivative of this shifting operator, so second order y r is same of apply two times E of E y r. E y r is y r plus one. So E of y r plus one is y r plus two. For three operators, E of E square y r, E square y r is y r plus two. Again, when E of apply on this one term forward, so y r plus three. So it means E three is y r plus three, E two is y r plus two. So E one is y r plus. So E n is y r plus n. This is called my shifting operator. Now I will derive some relation between the forward operator and E. And then backward operator and E. So first relation I will ap apply on forward relation and E. Our relation between the shifting operators, forward operator and backward operator is given by this form, either this form or this form and this form. These are the relation between forward and the backward operator. That's all for today. Now.